Hey film fans, my name is David. This is Film Collector Archive and today is going to be a little bit of a hybrid video. Uh, first of all, sorry for the echo. <laughs> I'm not in my uh, normal recording studio. Um, as you can see here, we've got a, a big box set here from Tashin. Um, this is going to be kind of a hybrid, uh, not really a cover to cover video because we're not going to be going from uh, a to Z on this set, but kind of a hybrid uh, cover to cover and unboxed video. Um, it's coming under the unboxed series, so we're going to go ahead and roll with that. But this is a, a really wonderful big box set here from Toshin. I think it's Toshin, maybe Tashin, one of the two. Uh, this is the company that produced the, uh, the Shining, uh, the huge box set that I uh, book set that I unboxed here on the channel a little while ago. Um, I'll try to remember to throw a link uh, in the description of this video if you want to go back and watch that one, but they produce uh, some of my favorite books. I have a whole shelf of their uh, books um, in my collection and then of course that big uh, shining box set. So this is uh, the definitive Jacques Tati uh, five volumes covering the complete life and work of the legendary filmmaker, screenwriter, and performer. Uh, now, this would make a really great um, companion piece to the Criterion Collection Blu-ray box set, uh, the complete Jacques Tati. Um, if you haven't had a chance to check that out, or if you're brand new to uh, the work of Tati, um, like I am largely myself, um, I admonish you to go check out his work. I have seen uh, two films in that box set and I am totally, completely hooked. I love his style and can't wait to explore the rest of the set with uh, this as kind of a, uh, a supplement, something to dive into after I watch the film. So let's not go ahead and uh, waste any more time. Let's get right into this. Um, so this is a a uh, large set here. I will do my best to... Um, I've got the setup here a little bit different than the, uh, like I said, the regular unbox video so I can get this all in frame. Um, so this is, this comes in a really cool uh, outer box and then the actual set is... Let me get that plastic off and then I can talk to you. <laughs> Um, so it comes in this outer box and it's kind of got this handle uh, system on it and the actual book uh, book set is going to be on the inside. Now I'm not too worried about, um, let's see, there we go, there's a little tab that you pull there. All right, I am figuring this out. All right, so we'll go ahead and this just keeps opening. Sorry, I hope everything's in frame like I would like it to be here. Okay, so then our book, our box set is on the inside here. So I'll go ahead and remove that and put that to the side there for a second. So you can see this is empty, but it does provide some nice um, not padding, but just distance between the edge of the box and then the inside so that it is a little bit less prone uh, to damage. Um, so then this goes back together and yeah, this is kind of a um, really nice <laughs> outer box. I like the design here with the artistic rendition here of Tati on the cover and then you have some fun uh, kind of art along the, whoops, along the, let's not knock the camera completely here, uh, the edge here. And so that's the, uh, that's the outer box. Okay, so here is the actual book set here. Um, so this comes in its own uh, plastic as well. Um, see if I can take this off without any issues. So it comes with a lot of plastic, not only the outer box, but this uh, inner box as well. All right. 
easy enough. Okay, so this has a, um, a nice matte texture to it. Um, no, maybe there's a little bit of you know, spot glossing on there, but it has, I don't know if, you can, if the mic quite picks that up, but it's got kind of a nice texture to it. Um, and then you can see the writing on here. It's kind of done in this nice uh, artistic style. I like how they present this here. Um, so it's uh, shoots, speaks, writes, works, and then Tati explores. So that represents the different volumes that we're gonna get here inside the set. Um, so here is the spine. There is the top and the bottom is blank. And then here are the different volumes. So we have kind of varying shades of kind of gray here from a darker gray all the way up to kind of a, an off white. It's kind of a nice little scale there of grays. And then you have the nice colorful uh, um, titles to each of the sections or each of the volumes that are included here. So again, we have shoots. Uh, so Tati shoots, Tati writes, Tati works, Tati explores, and then Tati speaks. Um, and uh, the, the speaks, I believe, is from is f uh, some interviews, direct interviews with him, uh, things of that nature. So I'm going to go ahead and let's um, take these out. All right, we'll set the box aside kind of set each of these books aside and then pull these out uh, one by one. Okay, so here is the first one that we'll take a look at. I'm not sure if I'm doing this in the right order, but we'll go with it. Um, so this is edited by Allison Castle. So this is Tati Shoots. And like I said, this is not going to be a cover to cover episode. We're just going to give you kind of a general idea of what is included here. So it looks like we've got over 300 pages in this first, um, uh, this first volume, Tati Shoots. All six of Tati's feature films are represented chronologically in film stills, capturing the most important and memorable moments, compositions, and gags. This volume works well as a visual companion to the screenplays in volume two. Um, so you can see here, it does list all of the volumes included in the box and then has in bold the one that we're currently in, uh, which again is Tati Shoots. Okay, so uh, in the table of contents here, um, I believe I'm in frame there. Uh, we have the forward, Jour de Fête, Monsieur Hillo's Holiday, Mon Uncle, Playtime, Traffic, and Parade. Traffic and Parade. All right. And then here we have The Art of Paying Attention by Allison Castle. And then we go into the films themselves. So each of the films will have their own kind of intro page. We have Runtime. Uh, the film stock that it was shot on, and then the uh, aspect ratio, which is 1.37 to 1. Uh, Jour de Fête is one of the two films that I've seen in the Criterion box set, and this was an absolute joy to watch. It's uh, kind of a wonderfully simple film, um, and that's one of the things I love most about it, but there are gags in the film that had me laughing out loud. I had several times where I was laughing out loud during this film. So let's just kind of get an idea here of what you'll get with each of the sections. So there's a nice uh, title shot and then steals from the film. Uh, really nicely reproduced uh, photographs here for the book or scanned photographs, uh, screenshots for the book here. And I like that at the top we have the page number, name of the volume that we're in, and the name of the film that we're currently viewing the, uh, the stills from. All right, so let's maybe go to the next film and just kind of see. Okay, so this is also on the blue 
uh, backdrops. It looks like that's the um, probably the theme throughout. Um, so this is uh, uh, let's see, what is the second film? Uh, yeah, Monster Hello's Holiday. Um, and then it's got the French uh, title for the film. Um, and then here you have, yeah, the French title and then the kind of the English translation. And then again, you go into uh, screenshots from the film. So you get the idea here of what this, uh, what this first volume is. And then we get into his color films. Playtime, the one we're in here right now, that is the other film I've seen and it was magnificent, just so well staged. Um, definitely an experience you don't, you don't forget your first time watching that film. Really, really wonderful. All right, and then the end here, there's a copyright there of 2019, and then just blank on the back. All right, so I'll go ahead and set that aside, and then let's go ahead and go to the second volume. Move our other book to the side a little bit. All right, so again, edited by Allison Castle. This is Tati Wrights. Um, so we have nice pink end papers here. All right, so again, the listing of the volumes here. We are in volume two, Tati Wrights. This volume contains the screenplays of all six Jacques Tati's, uh, of Jacques Tati's feature films and two unmade films, The Illusionist and Confusion. Now I've wondered, I haven't done any, this is going to show I'm, I'm newer to the work of Tati, uh, the animated film, The Illusionist, I feel like, because I saw that film years ago, and I want to say that that's probably uh, taken from maybe the screenplay uh, for The Illusionist that he was going to make. The character, sorry, this is, this is just kind of off the cuff here, the character in The Illusionist, the animated film, uh, it was very representative of Jacques Tati, so I think maybe that's where that comes from, which would be really, really cool. Um, okay, so and then you have an editor's note there, and then again, we have a uh, an intro page, so these are going to be all in pink. Uh, here we have the uh, screenplay for Jour de Fête. So this is cool, so we have scanned images of the actual screenplay, um, the hard copy of the screenplay, instead of having it typed out. I wonder if that will continue all the way through. That's uh, really quite neat. Now, of course, this is in French, so I'm wondering if we're gonna have any kind of um, English translation included, which would be nice, but either way, I mean, this is really, really neat to have the scans of the original uh, screenplay. And then you have some scribbles, you know, maybe some little notes. Um, it's just cool to see the original kind of hand of the artist at, at play here, or a filmmaker, writer. So I'm sure we'll see here if it, if we transition here to the next film without the English translations, maybe that'll give us our answer, unless they have maybe them in the in the back of the book or something like that. Okay, so then, yeah, so here is, this comes to the end and then we have even a shot of the, uh, of the back of the screenplay. Um, okay, yeah, so we do transition here to the next, uh, the next film, Monster Hello's Holiday. So it looks like, well, okay. So this is interesting. So Jour de Fête, you saw we just had the scanned images of the actual screenplay. Uh, here, it looks like we have a typed out um, English translation. We have an, uh, kind of an intro page here. Or, oh, okay, so we have the page here and then the English translation. Okay, so this is a nice format here. I wonder why they, did not do that for the first film. 
Um, but here we get a nice, a nice translation here written out uh, in English with again, nice scanned images of the original screenplay. All right, we even get notes like dissolve to some of the action. All right, so let's go to the next film. So playtime, let's see. Yeah, so playtime, the same thing. So that might continue here through all of the other films. So it, it, it seems like here just a jour de fête um, was excluded from having the English translation for, you know, whatever reason that might be. All right. And then again, the pink end papers. So that is the uh, second volume, Tati writes. Next up, we have Tati Works. Ooh, break in the book there. <laughs> Here we have a lighter blue on the end papers. All right, so here we are on volume three, Tati Works. An illustrated chronology of Tati's life, essays on his musical, uh, his music hall career, short films, feature films, and unmade screenplays, and a selection of his collaborators' recollections. So this is going to be a, a really interesting volume to uh, dive into. So here we have a chronology kind of. Um, uh, some milestones or, you know, different years, events as they occurred in his life. And then uh, looks like some maybe hand. Okay, so this right here, this is a, a birth certificate. And then some family photos. And then continuing here with uh, years with kind of important events in any given year there. That's awesome. So we hit, we get some uh, photos with some uh, big names here with uh, uh, Dean Martin here and um, I'm sure he he had to have uh, associated with you know some big names, the great Buster Keaton, um, one of the great uh, the greatest silent comedians that we ever had. So I'm sure there was uh, inspiration that Tati took from uh, Buster Keaton. All right, let's begin to flip through here a little bit. Some sheet music in there from his music hall career. Again, lots of photos, lots of uh, dense text in here as well on some of these pages. Um, so this is definitely not, uh, you know, something you're going to sit and digest in one sitting. This is uh, definitely something to be taken in over a series of times kind of sitting down reading through these. All right, so that is volume three. And that is Tati Works. And then next up, so these last two volumes are uh, smaller, so this is Tati Explores. We get a really beautiful yellow here on these end papers. Tati Explores. And uh, so the explanation here, uh, Tati Explores creative techniques and recurring themes in Tati's work. So it looks like uh, looking over here at the table of contents we have a list of um, maybe some essays. Uh, 
kind of more of that, um, kind of more of that format. So there'll be kind of more straight up reading in here, it feels like. Here we do get uh, some scans of uh, some original materials, uh, Tati architecture, um, which definitely comes into play. Um, really cool, really lovely images here. These, And then some kind of some planning documents almost for his films. Uh, this I know is from Playtime. Um, let's see, is that Tati? Yeah, oh, here I can just look right here. Tati vehicles. Tati Music, it's an image of a uh, record, and then some sheet music there for Jour de Fête. Um, some uh, ad materials there, some covers of some of the musical selections, and uh, Tati Movement. <laughs> Love this photo here. So really, really lovely. And then the end of that one. And finally, uh, we have the fifth volume. So this is Tati Speaks. So we get kind of a forest green here for the end papers. Uh, ta uh, volume five, Tati Speaks, a selection of photos from throughout Tati's career is accompanied by some of his most relevant and interesting statements, several long form interviews, and an autobiographical essay round out his vol uh, this volume dedicated to Tati's point of view. Um, so we have quotes, uh, Tati on Tati, Tati's democracy, excerpts from Jacques Tati, uh, and then interview with Jacques Tati. All right, so here we have the uh, quotes, so quotes accompanied by some more very nice uh, photographs here. Remind myself that we're not on a cover to cover here, <laughs> um, but uh, just give you a look here at some of the nice uh, photographs included here. So here we have uh, Tati himself. So that's the more autobiographical section. Um, and then Tati Democracy. Um, top Tati Inventor. And finally, we have an interview with the man himself. And then, uh, let's see, let's actually go back here. So this is uh, oh, rights holders of Jacques Tati in their Parisian studio. Interesting. And then again, the kind of the deep, the forest green end papers there. Okay, and then interesting to note here as well, um, even on the inside of the box is very colorful. Um, so lots to appreciate here. All right, so we'll go ahead and put these back. So we have, again, uh, Tati Speaks, Tati Explorers. Tati Works, Tati Writes, and finally, 
uh, Tati shoots. All right, and then flipping that this way, here is our set. So really beautiful addition here from uh, Tashin on the great Jacques Tati here with the definitive Jacques Tati. I do appreciate you joining me for this video. If you are new to this channel and you like talking film and film collecting, if you like watching unboxing videos like this, exploring different parts of cinema, I do invite you to hit the subscribe button, also the like button, and finally, the bell icon, as that will notify you when I upload new videos in the future. And until then, I hope you're able to watch a lot of great films and read a lot of great books.